so much of money. I just saw my brother Guru. We go way back. I saw Guru right here. If you want somebody to come back, Guru has to be the SRC president. Thank you so much. The matter job hot. Assembly Diloto. Hey, aye, hey. From being disqualified to winning the general election, Maradona, a J. Yeboa, popularly known as Guru, has now emerged as the president elect for the University of Ghana SRC presidential race. And this particular announcement has generated a lot of com conversation in our space, where so many people are congratulating him. Some people are also in shock on how he was able to move from being disqualified appealing in the court winning his case in the court running the race and actually winning this and many more is what we are going to discuss today on the podcast with me roland amate live on roland report so if you're watching or listening for the first time don't forget to subscribe don't forget to share this content with others so they can also enjoy and maybe you also have a thing or two to share on how Guru was able to maneuver his way from being disqualified, appealing, and now winning the general election with his running mate or now his vice president. So I'm reading from Ghana Web. It says Guinea uh, Guru wins 2024 University of Ghana SRC elections. Ghanaian musician Maradona Ijeyebu, popularly known as Guru has emerged victorious in the 2024-2025 University of Ghana Student Representative Council elections. Guru, together with his running mate Jeffrey Duyabwa, also known as Jaylet, were announced winners of the poll on Wednesday, September 18, 2024. They pulled 9,455 votes out of the total valid vote cast of the 18,659, securing 50.7 of the total votes. They beat Emmanuel Usuan Ponsa and the running mate Lawrence Edenam Egle, who had secured 6,645 votes, representing 35.6% of the total vote cast. This victory comes after their campaign run was mad with controversy before the polls. The rapper and his running mates were disqualified due to their non-resident status, violating Article 30 of the SRC Constitution, which requires candidates to be campus resident. During the vetting process, Guru and Yebo are confirmed they were not resident of any hall, leading to their disqualification. In response, their legal team petitioned the Electoral Commission and the Office of the Dean of Presidents affairs for a review also submitting an interim injunction on the judicial board to temporarily halt the election process until a proper hearing could be conducted on september 15 the appeals board unanimously decided 7-0 to set aside the disqualification the board ruled that guru and his running mate should be added to the list of presidential candidates the balloting for all vetted candidates was scheduled for Monday, September 16, and was postponed to September 18, 2024. And that is what happened when Guru, that is Maradona J. Yabua, was announced the president or the president-elect for the University of Ghana SRC race for the 2024-2025 general election. So yes, like I read to you, the total vote cast was around 18,659, 18,659 of which Guru emerged, Guru and his running mates actually emerged as winners, um, securing 50.7% of the total vote cast, that is 9,455. And with this, so many people have actually shared their views. I have some few footages here for you to see when the announcement was made on the university campus, how the people were jubilating and all. And after, like I said, I have some bits and pieces that I would want us to touch on, on how he was even able to maneuver. So many people had doubts, you know, so many people had doubts he was going to pull that off. Of which some people were even saying it wasn't a popularity contest. I believe it is one of the reasons why the his appeal was not so much of a concern when 
this whole conversation of him being disqualified because he was not a resident student at the university came up well let's go and catch a glimpse of the atmosphere when he was announced the winner or the president elect for the um presidential race or the voting processes stick and stay i'll be right back <laughs> Obviously, when you have some top people, like some top musicians who are very popular and influential behind you, doing door to door, well, it's some people may doubt whether it was going to have a bearing on his uh, his campaign or his popularity as far as being on campus is concerned. Some people who have been who have been involved on campus activities will tell you that when it gets to situations like this it is not always about popularity it's not how loud you are probably on social media but then it is about the kind of works you do on the ground and per the footages that we have been seeing on our screens you can clearly see that yes as part of his ambitions wasn't complacent on the fact that okay he was more popular in terms of his social status than the people he was contesting with but also decided to hit from one um, hostel to the other from one hall to the other or in the quest to campaign for to canvass for vote during the general elections well i don't know what you think but you can equally share your views in the comment section let me hear from you let me know what you think about guru's win as far as this particular conversation is concerned and the fact that he was able to win against all odds when he had to even appeal when he was disqualified because of non-residential article or clause in their bylaws and all of that well share your views in the comment section let me know what you think about it what are some of the things that you also think made guru or contributed in guru winning this particular feat or this particular general election let me hear from you let me know what you have to say do you think that the people that can vast for votes for him are the reason why he was able to win because on on even on during some of the activities as far as the src hall weeks are concerned we have some musicians like sir cody stoneboy among other top musicians that even stood on stage to endorse him and also campaign for him somebody like d crime went from door to door with him to other places where he was on ground or canvassing for votes share your views in the comment section let me know you think that these are the factors that led into him winning or you think there was more that he did as far as this particular elections is concerned but so far all the messages as far as guru's election electoral processes or his presidential campaigns or ambition are concerned are all congratulatory messages where people are throwing in left right center yes it is early days yet and i i believe that even before into the weekend some people or more congratulatory messages are going to flood his dms as well as his social media perhaps lots of tags that he is going to get until then let me hear from you let me know what you think i'll see you when i see you this has been the podcast with me live on roland reports thanks for spending time with me press on the notification bell should any video drop you'll be among the first to know until then bye bye for now yeah, my dad, job hot. Hey,